Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use this product and how to create your own cool 3D icons in just a few minutes. So, okay, so this product comes with uh, four main sections, which are actions, instructions, layer styles, and templates. You're watching the instructions video right now, so we're going to start with the templates folder. And this one has... Uh, 18 different templates, 9 are round, you know, circle templates, and 9 of them are square templates. It's just to give you a variety of different icons you can create. And each of these templates comes pre-created uh, for you with all with uh, different layer styles and different color combinations. Uh, with good contrast and good design uh, techniques. So you don't have to be a designer and you don't need to know what kind of colors to use. You can just use these templates as a starting point. And also each of these templates comes pre-installed with uh, different shapes. So as you can see here, there's a big check mark, there's an arrow, there's an email icon, RSS feed, and also some numbers for you. This, these things are just to get you started fast so you can create some icons uh, with just a few clicks here. But if you want, you can also add your own, you know, any, any text you want, any uh, check marks you want, anything. You can even add images to these uh, templates. And each one of these comes with these pre-installed things. Okay, so there's quite a variety of different uh, styles here, as you can see. But let's play around with this one, because this is uh, the one I like the best. So, here we go. There's three main things in this template that you can uh, customize. Of course, you can add more things, you can add more graphics into it, but... Uh, for a quick start, there's three main things that you can uh, customize yourself in just a few minutes. And that's the outer circle, outer border, as you can see here. You can turn this on and off. And it just adds a nice border around the icon. Next is the icon itself, is the circle layer. And the next thing is what's inside the icon which could be like a check mark an RSS feed icon some social media icons whatever you want or your own text so all of these things are customizable you can move uh, things around the template to wherever you want just don't move the circle itself and the border because uh, the action scripts are connected to this template and if you move the border and the main circle template around that the action scripts won't work properly so just leave them as is but you can add all kinds of layer styles and colors to these to the main border and circle template so let me show you how you can modify this very quickly with using the layer styles so just select the layer that you want say the circle then click on one of the layer styles here from the layers palette and as you can see the template gets updated with the new color and the new style automatically so there's quite a variety of different looks that you can have with just a few clicks okay so now let's customize the border a little bit Okay, as you can see, there's quite a variety of different looks and styles that you can have. Okay, so let's try something like this. Maybe change the check mark a little bit. Or let's just leave it the way it was there. 
<clears throat> now once you're happy with the design that you have if you want you can of course use it as is like this without making it 3D but uh, if you want to make it 3D it's just one more step you go to the actions palette you click on the action that you want to use for this example it's a circle template so we're going to use the circle action and you can have a left or right perspective so you can look either way so let's choose the left one press play and let's wait just a few seconds here while the action script does its magic and okay just a few seconds later you have a cool looking 3D icon now it's ready to be saved for the web and I've added some uh, resize actions here for you so you can easily resize this this uh, icon with just a few clicks as well so again just go to the click on the icon that you wanna to the icon size that you wanna have and as you can see you can resize it with just a few clicks to be the size that you want for your website so you can have like a little check mark or you can have like a big icon for your software application or something so that's pretty much it it's very simple to use just play around with it and you can get great results in a few minutes with just a few clicks so I hope you like the product